Wastewater, once it's flushed out of your home, you don't think about it again. But some scientists say it could be the key to tracking the spread of diseases like coronavirus and monkeypox. Heather Brown takes us through the process of treating wastewater for testing. Do you ever get used to the smell? <laughs> And I guess the answer is no. The wastewater comes in every day from almost 2 million people across Minneapolis, St. Paul, and 66 suburbs. You just take this much and bring it to the lab? Yeah, yeah. This looks pretty clean to me. Well, it's uh, it's been treated. But there is some stuff floating around in there. What is that? Right. We think that's... Um fibers from toilet paper. Principal research scientist Steve Balog walked us through the complicated process of treating, flooding, binding, rinsing. I have um, two different wash buffers. Heating, spinning. We'll just spin it for a minute here. Just And more to get one little drop of RNA. That's it. That's where all the RNA is. So this is what gets sent off to the U. That's correct. How many viruses could you detect in our wastewater? I mean, how many are there? We could eventually probably detect them all. Does it work the same way to look for COVID and to look for monkeypox? It's similar, but it's not the same. Monkeypox is a DNA virus, so we're looking for DNA. But in COVID, we're looking for RNA. That's correct. What do you see the potential for wastewater testing? Uh, it's enormous. Um, I don't think any of us really understood how much of a resource wastewater is.